everybody, I'm Danger Gen Vex, and welcome back to Really Random. Thank you to everybody who submitted words for this week's Really Random. The winners were Pizza, Blue, and Dogs. I took these words, stuck them into our trusty generator, and these were our results. And from these results, you picked the winner on Twitter as... I guess I'm not the only one who has pizza on the brain. So, just to make things interesting, I've decided to look at the history of pizza for you, but I'm going to do it in 10 minutes or less. So, just to make things exciting, I have my trusty uh, countdown timer thingamabobby here, and I only have 10 minutes to tell you everything that I found out about the history of pizza. Let's begin. Pizza actually originated long before Italy's pizza was a thing. In fact, researchers and historians and archaeologists have found signs of pizza going as far back as Neolithic times. That's really, really, really long ago. According to ancient records, people have been baking cheese and toppings on top of bread for a very, very long time. Now, you might argue that pizza is not bread baked with toppings. Ah, but that is where things started. Believe it or not, but archaeologists actually found 7,000 year old baked bread in Sardinia, which also had toppings baked onto it in a pizza type fashion. Ancient Greeks had their own version called Placus, or I have, I have Placaus, I have no idea how it's pronounced. I apologize, everybody Greek watching this video, but that was their version, and it was similar to focaccia in the way that it was baked and the toppings that it had, including uh, basil, onion, and garlic, and it was eaten with olive oil. In 600 BC, Persian soldiers actually used their shields to bake their breads with cheese and dates. Pizza is even featured in legends or in myth, depending on your point of view. The legend goes that in 19 BC, the Harpy Queen prophesied that the Trojan soldiers wouldn't find peace until they had pizza. It wasn't said in so many words, but that was the gist of it. The word pizza was documented as first used in a place called Gita, but this, as there are some theories that hold that the first real modern pizzas were Roman soldiers adding toppings to matza or matzos, which is a Jewish flatbread. Now from those early origins, and I know you might probably still be arguing that bread baked with toppings is not pizza, and I agree with you, but that is the origins. And from those origins sprang just about everything else, including Chinese Bing, um, Indian, what's it, Indian um, Paratha, uh, what, what is he as, Naan, Roti, um, the Greek pita came from it. So from those early origins, just about every kind of, you know, dough bread with toppings came from. At least this is again as historians hold the theory. Pizza really started, well, pizza really started picking up in Naples. And there it wasn't even considered good food. It was considered a poor man's food because it was basically like a focaccia with you know, whatever they could afford to put on it. Some Italian writers were actually documented as calling the food disgusting. Lord knows what they were thinking. Things became interesting when Italy unified and Queen Margherita came to visit Naples. While she was there, she was given a meal of pizza that had, um, it was tomato and basil and cheese, I believe. Basically, it turned out to be a piece of baked dough with pizza-like toppings that looked like the Italian flag. 
and the Queen was nuts about it. So they named it the Pizza Margarita. With the Queen's stamp of approval, pizza suddenly became a thing. Well, it became a thing in Naples and in some parts of Italy. For the rest of the folks and the rest of the world, pizza was still a dream that was a far, far, far way away. <laughs> So what introduced pizza to the rest of the world and resulted, it in, or resulted in it becoming famous? Well, for that we have to thank World War II. After soldiers were based in Italy, they tasted this food and they were absolutely crazy about it. And as they went back home to America and as Italian immigrants started spreading across the world, pizza evolved into what we know as pizza today. In essence, at least one good thing came out of World War II. Pizza! Interesting fact for those of you who aren't all too fond of pizza, uh, sweet pizzas or the idea of pizza as a dessert. Before pizza became a meal, most pizzas were actually sweet. Before they became this big savory main course or dinner or whatever, pizza was kind of like a dessert and there you have it with only a couple of minutes to spare that is just about everything i could find that that's interesting about the history from of pizza so from the neolithic age and nine thousand years ago to today from nothing but baked bread with toppings to the delicious doughy treat that we know today there you have the history of pizza. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little episode. If you did, remember to leave me likes down below and remember to leave nouns or words for next week's really random. But thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!